Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Tips and Tricks, where I offer insight into things I've learned from over all my years of playing and collecting. I'm your host, Kevin, and today we are going to talk about laces cleats, so let's get right into it. Laces cleats have been around for quite some time, but the ones that made the most noise to start were the Lotto Zero Gravity, which were released back in 2006. Then there were a few years of silence until 2016 when Adidas created the A16 Plus Pure Control, which was the mass predator silo. In terms of fit, the difficult thing with laces cleats is that because you have no control over adjusting any part of it, it only fits a limited amount of people just right. I've tried on pretty much every laces cleat there is in the last 10 years, and most have fit me great, but there have been a few here and there that don't fit me so great. The first one that comes to mind since I wore them for a full season were the Adidas A16 Plus. The upper was great, but I felt like the lockdown was very poor. Adidas has done a great job in providing much better lockdown since then with the latest Predators and Copa Pure Plus, but still, anything with laceless is always going to offer a better fit. In terms of the material used on the upper, there have been a number of different materials used for laceless silos, but for the most part, it's usually been synthetic. There were a few brands like Umbro that tried producing a laceless leather cleat, but those didn't really have a lasting impression in the market. Now let's review if going laceless is right for you. With most laceless cleats that I've tried on, it's usually made on the narrower side, and that makes sense since the biggest problem that brands try to tackle is the lockdown. By making a cleat more narrow, you offer less wiggle room. This goes without saying that if you have wider feet then there's a good chance laceless is not the way to go however new balance does offer a wide option for all their silos including the laceless tequila which is a very impressive cleat that i highly recommend now even if you do have narrow feet this doesn't necessarily mean that a laceless cleat is right for you going laceless not only takes time getting used to but it's not everyone's cup of tea when i first tried on the adidas a16 plus i really didn't like the lockdown it offered especially coming from mainly using nike mercurio vapor the most recent releases, however, have done tremendously well in tackling the lockdown problem, so I foresee more and more people trying these out. That's the end of my rant on laceless cleats. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences on wearing laceless cleats as well. Thank you so much for watching, and if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed yourself, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I do have other reviews as well as tips and tricks on my channel to help you pick out your next pair of cleats, so please be sure to check those out as well. See you on the next one.